your Hoolies. And what it is with the vibes, you know, we are back outside with another reaction for y'all. We, I seen this and I said, fuck it, we gotta watch it live, man. We gotta watch it live. Y'all chat, you ain't here with me. You know what's going on. All right. Um, okay. Hold on a second. 1v1. Make sure, you, hey, you know what it is. We're gonna get straight into the video. K Showtime versus MK. 1v1. Oh. Call that. You're a bitch if you call that. <sighs> She's like, I can never. Start up, man. Hey, defense! <laughs> You guys be getting tricked by this fake muscle. This guy's muscles are fake. See, hey, like, that's disrespectful. To a special edition of today's episode. Today, we have two gentlemen that are going to have a conversation about animated topics. Fellas. What? What is this? Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> relax, 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 relax. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> These guys are... Look at the, look at the men in black. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these guys are the men in black. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I like the production thought. The sit down. So joining us today are K Showtime and MK, two of the most talented streetball players in the game today. Today, we'll be discussing their relationship, as well as what's gonna be happening next, and go into a little bit more detail about the rivalry. So, K Showtime, MK, thank you for joining us today. Me and Showtime. Me and Showtime. Take over the streetball scene. Whoa. Take over the streetball scene. Me and Showtime, for anybody that doesn't know, we've known each other since, what, like, eight years old? I'd be super young. Super young. We used to play against each other. I played for a team out of the market, which is like the suburbs. Yeah, we know. Hey, listen, I, 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 you know. We were younger, competed um, in like championships and like literally we always go head to head against each other. What is this? People don't know that, but we've known each other since we were like tiny. Yeah. What is this? We did 100%. Wait, what? And I think the takeover is you were on that wave already. I was in Costa Rica. People don't know that, but we've known each other since like championships and like literally we'd always go head to head against each other. Competed um, in like Championship. Oh, so when they were younger, they played against each other. Against each other. People don't know that, but we've known each other since we were like tiny. Yeah, we did 100%. You're playing pro. You're already on that wave. I obviously knew you. We knew each other. I seen you going crazy, and I was like, bro, I'm gonna pull up and just like spoil his run, like that, the Aiken Park run. Yep, that's exactly what he did. Um, he came to our park takeover, fried the sh out of Grizz, like cooked him. It was so then. That's how MK became a part of Trouble Team. If MK didn't fry Grizz that bad, then I probably wouldn't even have put him on the team. So that's how it happened, really. You messed with okay. me. You were like, yo, let's run it. Like, let's run it. Like, hop on the squad, let's run it. Next few times. And then we ran it once. We had chemistry, obviously. Had a few dunks. Score. And we're going to clip this. Okay, what are we doing? Oh. The Scarborough. I guess out of all the takeovers you guys have done together, I think nothing really beats that, you know. I, most definitely, game like um, we don't really get enough credit. Basketball scene on the map, you feel me? I feel like just that game in general put like the whole Canada basketball scene on the map. Oh, Canada basketball me? scene. And honestly, I feel like um, we don't really get enough. Nah, credit that's true though. For the hoop scene in Canada, but I feel like we definitely brought a lot of eyes on the hoop scene for sure. So I'm definitely gonna have to go with the Cam Wilder one. For me, obviously, the Scarborough one. That's when my life changed. Like Showtime gave me an opportunity to play for his team, which is the Trouble Team. We just like took that over, like me and him together took it over. I went crazy. Yep. He plugged my socials in, and literally overnight, just because of that takeover, we woke up in the next morning. Remember that? We woke up the next morning. We had like a hundred more case, like subs, followers. Everything was going crazy. 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 That's when mm. we run up until, let's say, the Ball is Life West Coast game against Trouble Team. So tell me a little bit about that period in time, and you know what you, where your relationship was at during that period. Um, I feel like. 
a lot of things happen wrong just because of communication. I feel like, you know, MK wasn't communicating with me properly how he should have. Um, and honestly, I'm just really based off of like communicating really like, I feel like communication can stop a lot of, you know, unnecessary problems. So that's what I feel like honestly, is just communication and ego on top of that. How about you? We both had like this ego. Like, Do I hear basketballs like, in the background? He started it, I came in and like, we were doing it together. Like we were on, like, in my opinion, we were on this. What are we talking about? Where's the basketball? basketball? I feel like, like he went to the States, lost to Kenny Chow. I don't know how the fuck that even happened. Cause Kenny Chow is probably, still talking, though, Kenny Chow is probably like, the worst basketball hooper <laughs> on the net. <laughs> <laughs> So really he said he was going to the States and he went to the States and that's why without talking to K Showtime. Honestly, see, I feel like, like he went to the States, lost Kenny Chow. I don't know how the fuck that even happened. Because Kenny Chow is probably... He's like, you're a fucking disgrace. <laughs> Probably the worst basketball hooper on the after GOI. <laughs> so I don't know how that happened, but he went. Oh my god. I feel like he should never went so fast. Lost to Kenny Child and Kelly. I was like, boom. Shit. Whatever. Then after he teamed up with Nick Briz, that part I didn't like because, and it didn't really make sense to me because at the time we were actually supposed to play Nick, like after Cam yeah, Wilder. a terrible idea. So, he played with Nick Briz and it just didn't really make sense to me like why yeah, it ruined the whole game shit. If we're gonna play yeah, against and, Nick Briz and, and, and run a game, so yeah. That didn't really make sense and stuff like that. And you know, I just feel like communication, like he didn't you didn't tell me, like I have to go on social media to see that you're playing with Nick Briz when I feel like you should have communicated with Facts, I remember this. Look, look at your boy. Communicate that with me, you know, because you know I would I felt like I would did I would have done the same thing, communicated with the whole team about if I was doing something like that too. So that's how I felt really. Looking back on it now, like what we're doing right now, like we're here together, like based on communication. So like the one thing about Nick Briz, I understand. I feel like if I told you like what was going on, like the whole situation, and I'll just like set you guys up for that announcement. Like, yo, I'm gonna do this shit with Nick Briz. This is for like, you know, this is what I wanna do. That was the Why we the trouble team wanted to go to LA and I was like like, you know, like, if everyone's going to hold me back, I'm just going to go. Like, this is my life. You know what I mean? That's how I felt. Like, it was my career, my life. You already had shit booming. You, you, like, to be honest, like, you were the one that was booming. So, like, I felt in my space, I wasn't booming as much. This was my shot to get to that level, start making a career. Because you got to understand, like, right now. It's like, I get it now. Opportunity, and I... Wait, what? So, I Wait, what, like, what did I just see? Hold on. All right, fine. I watch that. I go. I really don't want to sit. And, like, no, I don't. Fuck, I don't like Kenny Chow right now. I can relax. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. I don't. Fuck, I don't like Kenny Chow right now. I don't like Kenny Chow. <laughs> Kenny Yo, he's a. B <laughs> 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 what? This is this is crazy. This is crazy. <laughs> He wants to box me for a reason. I don't know why, but when you see me, I hope you have that same energy too. Oh! <laughs> Wait! K Showtime and Kenny boxing? He said he wants to box me for a reason. I don't know why, but when you see me, I hope you have that same energy too. <laughs> Main thing though is that, like I said, I wanted to take that opportunity, and I honestly apologize about the Nick Briz stuff, because I understand it now. Like, I get it now. <laughs> but as long as you can see it from my point of view that, like, I was excited to, like, get, you know, like, make some money, like, actually, like, yeah. be, be a, like, I just saw dollars in my bank account that year. I get so it. That's why I took that Nick Briz thing, and I feel like it would've been different. I was like, yo, I'm gonna do this shit with Nick Briz. I need right away. <sighs> I wanna box Nick Briz. When we got the most <laughs> each other. But other than that, it was pretty calm. Let's talk about so much shit that people don't know about that. All right. You were cheese. I was cheese, to be honest. Stuff. All right. Like behind the There's scenes. There's a whole. There's so much shit. That Post life versus trouble team game. There's so much shit that people don't know about that game.
like behind the yeah, scenes. It's a whole lot. They don't know a lot of shit. I'll let you start it off. All right. You're cheese. I was cheese, to be honest. Yes. So whatever. When I lay. This is when I basically to give people background. I told him I wasn't gonna play. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. So this is what happened. <coughs> this is before I, I even saw each other or anything. This guy just comes saying, "Oh, I might even play in the bottles with you." I'm like, oh, "What do you mean?" together this and the third like you feel me there's no way you're not playing like what i'm like okay whatever he says i gotta play i'm like okay whatever i'm gonna ask him another week and see if he's like i remember you asked me so many times so i asked him again he said the same thing so i'm like now nah, i gotta go get a whole other player and stuff like that so i have to get a whole new team whatever that happens so we go to la now i get a text i get a text from drake and he's like what's going on like what's popping for the game tomorrow i'm just like do it, you know? Next thing you know, he's saying, M MK's trying to run with us. And honestly, honestly, I'm just like, okay, I don't give a fuck. He's not playing with me. I don't care. Like, you feel me? I, I didn't give a fuck at all. Like, you feel me? It could have been fucking my mom that said, make MK play. I would have said, nah, mom, fuck that shit. You're not playing. You feel me? Because I just felt like, you know, I was betrayed a little bit in certain areas and shit. So I'm just like, honestly, like, nah, you're not playing. So Drake texted me and said, da da da. And I'm just like, honestly, nah, I'm not making him play. I really don't give two fucks. And then, yeah, that's it, really. We went out to go play, got spanked, which I'm not going to lie. I don't know how we got spanked because, to be honest, they weren't even really that good. I feel like we just came into that game a little, um, like, nervous because we didn't have home court and stuff like that. Also, though, Wallace Life um, did say some things like, you know, Certain things they're gonna let us play, the standard third, call fouls and shit. And I think they kind of cheated us that game. You feel me? But it's whatever. We'll play them again one day if I feel like it because I don't really like ball type either. But I was out. Um, I went to. I was actually at Drake's concert. You were there too. Yeah, I was there Drake's too. Concert. Um, I went to his after party. I was what am I watching? Right the now? first time I met Drake, I was I was super lit. Um, Super good guy. He's like, yo, like, yo, you're gonna link Showtime tomorrow. He's like, you're playing, you're playing. I don't think he knew like we had like a little vendetta going on. Yeah. But he's like, yo, you're playing tomorrow, right? Like, come on, bro. We need to see you guys together. And I was like, bro, like, I don't know. I don't think Showtime wants me to play. And I already told them I wasn't gonna play. And then at that moment, he told me, which is like, I told you after the fact. Yeah. He was like, and I wish I messaged you this yeah. during that day. And then it would have probably like squashed things. Yeah. I had an ego, and you had an ego. Most definitely. He was like, sad music in the background. Come to my crib, we'll pull up to the game together. And then I was like, yo, that would be sick. And then I was like, what if I like asked Showtime to play? And like, or what if you asked Showtime? Because I thought if he asked you, he would be like, yeah. Like, you know, yeah, like, but like, at the time, I just like, it was just like, like, I didn't give a fuck who you were. You yeah, feel me? Like, I'm not, I'm not with that. I understand. So basically, he was like, you know, like, when we get there, when we pull up, MK, like, Showtime throw MK a jersey. Hop on the squad, just shock everybody. Because you have like Drake courtside watching. Yeah. I pull up, even if we win or lose, which we probably would have won, I think. I'm not gonna say I would have been the deciding factor, but we had like so much chemistry, like I feel like it would have made a difference if I played for sure. But we had like we had beef at that time. I, I you know how Drake I was it? at I the West it, like, Coast game? Want me to play. Like I thought Drake was like, yo, like run it. I didn't even know that. Ready, set, free, right? He was like, yo, like, you guys are gonna play together. I thought that. He never yeah. told me about no plan. He just said, that's it, really, so, you know? That's what we had talked about. That's what I kind of, like, pitched, and that's my fault for not telling you. But the ball is life thing, at that point, I was like, hey, this guy doesn't want me to play for his team? Fuck this guy. We can settle it. You know, like, we can just do that. We can do it like that. I'll make my own cheese that vacation. To get together and stuff. And I think I do fuck with all that. Like, he did actually want us, like, you know, to get together and stuff and not, like, After really that, fight, like, like you know? He up right away. Yeah. And we were, he was trying to piece us up in L.A. Yeah. Which is the craziest part, but I understand why we both didn't. So let me ask you this question. If MK would have played in that game, you guys think he would have won? Um, yeah, most definitely. I don't want to just say it just because of MK, though. I want to say Look because we would have had more chemistry as a team and we would have been like, do you feel me? Up. So, I no, I'm not talking about MK. Because we would have had more I'm chemistry as a team and we would have been like, me. more hungry, you feel me? Like, because I bring the dog in me, but MK also brings the dog in me too, you feel me? We, I, I had my like behind me same way you can go even in I guess your team where's the basketball though uh, helps to reached out to caffeine 
or no, my Kathy reached out to my manager and they're like, so are you set up for this matchup? We went trending number two. That's the I'm gonna knock you out type shit. Like, you said, you said. Bro, that was the screenshot. Remember at the end. Nah, we'll pop up the screenshots for sure. Yeah. yeah. I was like, damn, bro. Like, if I see. See you. And you can't catch this. Cause your D's. Are <laughs> Just cause your D's doesn't. I mean, you can't catch this. Cause your D's, I won't like. like Doesn't mean you can't catch this. Cause your D's, I won't like. <laughs> like you think cause you're muscular, you won't. Mm, like I was on some time and like. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think you were cheated cause you lost. You guys shouldn't have lost. Yeah. Let's be real. That's why I was. That made like, me more mad. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck? Office hours one, and I was like, all right, bet. So we're gonna rub it in his face right now. I'm gonna piss this up post me. I didn't even at you, it was just like, you know, yeah. set at this point, but I was just kind of like, whatever, bro, like, I said we can set up a game whenever. I was just kind of offing that. Like, at, it, at the end of the day, like, it was dead. We talked to each other. Where's the fucking basketball? Chat, is this reason, not like, because of like everything there's no basketball in this? When that album dropped, like, you don't understand, like, there's no basketball. When he anyway, man, you know what it is, man, it's a reaction. Uh, I, I want to see the game. Um, I want to see a basketball game. Let me see that ones, y'all. Let me know when you see it. You know what the fuck going on. Like, subscribe, comment. I guess we'll get into a part two. Fuck with it. Why?